This is Jake Rudolph, and he is the lowest overall quarterback in Madden 23. Today, we're going to turn him into an NFL MVP. Now, Jake Rudolph actually hasn't been in the NFL since 2020. In fact, he's retired from football, but the last team he played for was the Miami Dolphins. And there we go. We got Jake Rudolph on the Miami Dolphins. Now, he is already 28 years old, so I'm going to actually lower his age so that we actually have a chance for him to develop. So we got 20-year-old Jake Rudolph on the Dolphins. The next step is probably getting rid of the other quarterbacks on this team. And taking a quick look at the offense, I think we could use some offensive line help. So the Dolphins actually have two first round picks in this game. So I'm sending one of the first round picks, the first round pick next year for Quentin Nelson and Braden Smith. Yeah, that's going to be big upgrades for the offensive line. We got to get the other quarterback out of here too. So Teddy Bridgewater, third round pick for our number three wide receiver, Brandon Cooks. And yeah, the team is now looking much better. So let's see what happens happens with Jake Rudock in year number one. I've only been through the preseason. We already got two skill point upgrades for Jake Rudock. So yeah, I'm definitely upgrading him. And there we go. We got him up to a 47 overall. My expectations for year one is super low. I'd be shocked if we win more than three games. How is this even possible? The Dolphins won eight games with Jake Rudock at quarterback. I got to actually make sure he's playing QB. The 130th ranked quarterback in the NFL took his team to an eight and nine record. That's insane. And now we got him up to a 53 overall overall at least some of his accuracy attributes are getting into the 70s now but now it's time to see what kind of numbers he put up this year so jake rudolph year number one as a starter 4,500 pass 32 passing touchdowns what oh he threw a lot of interceptions though i was not expecting these type of numbers in year one though 4,500 yards jeez hey i guess trading teddy bridgewater worked out huh guys pretty good year for mike gusecki pretty good year for tyree kill and jalen waddle we got to get him worked into the offense a little bit more but still an okay year seeing those numbers i think we got to make sure that jake rudolph could get upgraded a little bit faster so we're changing his depth trait to star because we know madden probably won't change his depth trait so i was just letting the cpu handle everything and we lost our tight end and our running back I'm going to try to make a trade for a tight end. I'll burn all my draft picks to get some beats. We got Kyle Pitts for three draft picks. I'm not even going to worry about the running back position. We want to throw the ball. We want Jay Grudock to win NFL MVP. So this team is looking pretty good for that. Let's see what happens in year two. I'd be shocked if we win anywhere close to eight games. I can't believe we did that in the first season. Well, the Dolphins did regress in year two, but we still won more games than I thought we would win. We got six wins. All I really care about is how Jake Grudock did in year two. Hopefully he put up some numbers again because he put up numbers in year one. So let's see how he did in year number two as for Skylar Thompson. Why is he starting? We just ruined one year because the CPU threw in Skylar Thompson, who actually put up some numbers, to be fair. But he's the reason why we regressed in year two, though. Come on. Even though he didn't really play, we got him up to another overall, but I'm still a little bit upset about year two. The CPU keeps starting other people at quarterback. I'm going to hopefully make sure that he's starting. But also, Tyreek Hill's down to star now. So we finally got a record that's actually realistic, 2-15, and 15, which I think is a good sign that Jake Rudock started the entire year. So let's see what happened and technically year two for him, but year number three and 4,500 yards, 25 passing touchdowns though. So similar yardage numbers, but touchdown and interceptions went down. So, okay. Kyrie Kill and Brandon Cook's thousand yard receivers, Kyle Pitts with a solid year and Jalen Waddle still there. Now we do got six skill point upgrades for him. So he should get into the sixties finally. His attributes will be much better too without the morale downgrade. So I'm kind of hopeful for next season too. We're going to keep him at a star dev right now in season what happens in year number four so i lost a few players in free agency so we gotta reload and what better way to reload than to get jamar chase and t higgins on the squad for some draft picks so this is what the offense looking like going into this season hopefully jake Ru i want to see five thousand yards from jake rudolph well the dolphins approved from last season Ooh. five and twelve this year but i want to know how jake rudolph is so hopefully i want to see five thousand yards man 46 8 hey, improvement on the yards 41 touchdown passes whoa 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 these are actually mvp numbers that jake rudolph put up 4600 yards 41 touchdowns 13 picks there's probably a quarterback that outperformed him but man those are some awesome especially for a 60 overall quarterback those are sick numbers i guess we drafted a sick tight end because he's the leading receiver tyree kill again t higgins Jamar Ch T. Higgins outperforming Jamar Chase. So it's looking like that trade is going to work out pretty well for us. So Jalen Hurts wins the MVP and we didn't even finish in the top 10. We didn't even finish in the top 10 for Offensive Player of the Year. And it has us as the seventh best quarterback in the AFC right now. Seven skill point upgrades for him though. Woo! 
So we got him up to 67 overall now. 90 medium accuracy. I want to improve his deep ball a little bit more. That'll have to happen in the next year. So yeah, no playoffs. Ooh. We finished 5 and 12 again. And a little bit of a regression with the touchdown numbers. Still throw for a decent amount of yards though. So I love seeing that. And the interception numbers are going down for him. T Higgins and Jamar Chase still balling for us. Josh Allen going 15 and 2. That makes sense for him being MVP. We still aren't in the top 10 for MVP. But hey, we moved up to 6 best overall quarterback in the AFC. And we got him up to 71 overall now. And hey, throwing attributes looking very nice. We're going to be in the 80s for probably all the throw accuracy stuff next season. Team is looking good again going into this year. Jamar Chase, superstar X factor now too. I've definitely been neglecting the defense a little bit in this video, but I've tried to, you know, make some improvements to it for this season. So going into the fifth year of Jake Rudock starting 72 overall, 95 medium accuracies. I'm hoping this is the year he gets to 5,000 yards. Let's see what happens. And the Miami Dolphins have finally done it. We have made the playoffs, guys. 10 and 7. What a big improvement. That makes me pretty excited to see what Jake Rudock did for us. So, in year number 5, Jake Rudock... Oh, so close to 5,000 yards, but 4,800 yards is amazing. 4,800 yards, 37 touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. He's just getting better and better every year, guys. Oh my God, T. Higgins at 1,400 yards and 16 touchdowns. If Jake Rudock's not getting MVP votes, T. Higgins absolutely should after this season. And speaking of MVP, we finished fifth in the MVP voting. We are now the third best quarterback in the AFC. He is now up to a 77 overall. And like I said last season, all of his accuracy attributes up to an 80, including 98 medium accuracy. But the season isn't done yet because we have finally made the playoffs and we are facing the 12 and five Pittsburgh Steelers. Can the Dolphins make a playoff run though? Let's see what happens in this first quarter as zero of zero so far. The Steelers get a touchdown. The Dolphins tie the game up though. Yeah, very close game so far. Big third quarter. It's still a three-point game. Oh, the Steelers get a touchdown right at the end. Let's see if the Dolphins can make a bit of a comeback here. They get a touchdown back. Do they tie it up? No, the Steelers get some more points on the board. And yeah, unfortunately, the Dolphins lose in the wild card round. But I'm just excited that we made the playoffs finally. Yeah, Jake Rudock's first playoff start, though, did not go well. Ooh. We are going to have to replace Tyreek Hill in this offseason because he just retired. Year number six for Jake Rudock offense looking absolutely stacked we even have a superstar x-factor tight end and we slightly improved the defense also but i think after that last season it's time to upgrade jake rudock to a superstar hopefully that means we get him upgraded a little bit faster too his short accuracy fell under 80 but i still think we're looking pretty good and we finished fifth in the mvp voting last season so hopefully we improve on that in this season what what happened two and 15 we made jake rudolph into a superstar development player and he brings us an absolute stinker of a season 4,000 yards this is our worst season by far Tutu atwell is our leader what is happening i'm genuinely confused as to what happened this season hopefully it's just you know a random bad season there's no point to see if we even finish the mvp voting because we definitely did it so we're gonna just go straight to the next season hopefully we don't have a disaster like we did in the last season and you know we get back on schedule here jake rudolph we made him a superstar 76 overall the offense is looking pretty good here and the defense continues to get improved here too jake rudolph is looking pretty good going into the season too so let's get back on track let's get that 5,000 yard season it started to look like that playoff season was a big outlier for us Ooh. we didn't make the playoffs again hey we're back on track with Jake Rudock though 4,800 yards 39 touchdowns I don't like the interception number we got to get that down an absolute monster season from Jamar Chase 1,600 yards Ooh. don't like the fact that we are only the 10th best quarterback in the AFC though we were the third best quarterback in the conference at one point we got him up to an 80 overall now though so he's still improving he's still getting better and better the throw attributes are looking really good now hopefully i can improve the team a little bit more and i don't know maybe next season made some moves in free agency made some moves just trading some draft picks I'm feeling pretty good about this season. We got Jamar Chase at a 99. Jake Rudock is up to an 80. All the offensive stars are 80 and over, so hopefully they play well. And I added Kayvon Thibodeau and some others to the defense. Hopefully this is the year we get back to the playoffs. I'm also hoping this is the year we finally reach 5,000 yards passing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the playoffs with a 9-8 and eight record. We finally did it 5,000 yards passing. We got to get this interception number down, but we finally got 5,000 yards, 39 touchdowns. 
Love it. Another absolutely monster season from Jabbar Chase, too. Whew. Unfortunately, we're not winning MVP again this year. We're not even in the top 10 still. Can someone explain to me how I throw over 5,000 yards and I'm not even a top 10 quarterback in the AFC? Like, what is this? We did get up to an 81 overall this season, though. But we are back in the playoffs. We're playing the 13-win Buffalo Bills. Can we get a playoff win this time? I really hope we get a win, but it looks like the Bills are going to be a really good team. So far, 7-3 in the first quarter. Gotta get touchdowns here. Oh, no. We are falling behind. Although, we get a touchdown finally. Hey, we take the lead out here. Yes, we have the lead at halftime. This is a huge third quarter. Come on, extend the lead. We extend the lead. Yes. Hopefully, we hold the Bills here. No, the Bills do get a touchdown. Jake Rudock's going to extend the lead on this drive, though. Am I right? I'm not right. But hopefully the Bills don't score. Uh-oh, that's not good. No, they take the lead. Probably going to come down to this possession. Yes, we got the lead. We actually might get the playoff win here. Please, defense. Yes. And we finally get Jake Rudock's first playoff victory. And a complete different story from his first playoff game. He had a monster game. Three touchdowns, 392. So now for the divisional round, we are playing the 14-win Steelers. Oh, man. I would love for this team to make a Super Bowl run. We got to start off hot here, though, and it's, oh, man. We are off to a really bad start. It's 14-0. Hopefully, quarter two is a different story as at least we get some sort of points here. Hey, touchdown. Only down by a score. Ah, uh, they get a field goal, though. Got to start pulling it back in the third quarter. Ah, uh, not a great start. Do get a touchdown. Still down 10, though. Let's see how this fourth quarter is going to go. As the Dolphins get a touchdown, the Steelers answer right back. And yeah, just... We did win a playoff game, so the future is bright. Jake Rudock's only getting better and better. We just got to keep improving the team. And hey, after that playoff performance we got a plus one upgrade on him it's getting to the point where i'm starting to worry about the regression now since he is getting older so can we please get back into the mvp conversation and would you look at that guys we're back in the playoffs 10 and 7 i wish we won our division but it's all good of course we're mostly interested in how jake rudock did and didn't get 5,000 yards oh no touchdown and yards went down interceptions also went down too so i guess that's good jamar chase once again though absolute monster season we are still not back in the mvp conversation and somehow we're still only the eighth best quarterback in the AFC. I've been trying to get his throw power up, and I'm worried that that's what's costing us from winning MVP. So I might have to manually upgrade the throw power. But we are playing the Colts in the wild card round. Hopefully we can get another playoff win. I'm just going to send the entire game right here, right now, as we were on a drive and somehow didn't score. What happened? Oh, man. The Colts have a touchdown lead. It's the only score of the game so far at halftime. Okay, now there's more points scoring. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Dolphins. 21 to 3. Oh, boy. I guess we're losing again. Dang, man. Just can't get wins right now. Can't get wins in the playoffs. I don't even know what number year we're at, but this is the team. Players are starting to regress, which is very worrying. And I think I'm going to improve Jake Rudock's throw power to 90. So that is going to bump him up to an 86 overall, which still only makes him the 16th best quarterback in the league anyways. But hopefully that means monster year for him. MVP, please. This game doesn't want me to be great. 7 and 10. We made him better and he put up a worse season. Like, there's literally no winning in this, man. What is going on? Jamar Chase is starting to slow down too, so yeah, that's probably not helping. We're once again not in the top 10 for AFC quarterbacks too. We're up to an 87 overall now though. Okay, going into this next season, I have decided to make Jake Rudock superstar X Factor. Maybe that'll help us get some MVP votes. And this is what he's looking like here. Again, looks pretty good. Hopefully he puts up some numbers. And this team is a 90 overall too, so we should should be pretty good this year i honestly don't get it we finished last place in the division at eight and nine 4900 yards for jake rudock's looking pretty good but i'm telling you we're not gonna be close to winning mvp still there's a 99 overall quarterback on the broncos we might have to move jake rudock up to a 99 overall guys okay maybe i won't quite make him a 99 overall actually this offense is looking really really good and i try to upgrade the defense too the defense is probably the best it's been this entire video honestly but i don't know after the past few seasons i'm not sure if we're ever gonna get to the mvp level he's age 32 now let's see what happens okay yeah we're we're gonna make him a 99 overall next season how are we 7 and 10 with the 91 overall team jake Rudock did have a pretty good season though 4700 yards 41 touchdowns so finally a 40 touchdown season again jamar chase in his 13th season at nfl still putting up numbers didn't get back in the mvp conversation and we're still the sixth best afc quarterback i didn't quite make him a 99 overall but still really good attributes and he's not the highest rated quarterback in the league so hopefully that doesn't cost me the mvp we got some weapons on the offense and 
overall the offense is looking pretty good and again i think this is the best defense we've had all video i have no idea how we didn't win the division with the team we have but i'm just happy we're back in the playoffs but let's see how jake rudolph did how does he not have 5,000 yards still i mean really good year 40 touchdowns again 13 picks though jeez we finally got back into the mvp conversation we finished six 97 overall and we're the fifth best afc quarterback still like okay we actually might have to go up to 99 overall i'm just gonna straight up sim this game hopefully we win that'll be great we got the w guys we are facing the tennessee titans the 12 and 5 tennessee titans i'm just gonna do it again oh yes we have moved on to the afc conference championship game i don't want to mess with anything so i think i'm just gonna sim it again and hopefully we make it to the super bowl here also can we talk about these teams right now 94 overall 81 overall and the Jets won the division. We are going to the Super Bowl, guys. Yes! Atlanta Falcons versus the Miami Dolphins for the Super Bowl. Hey, if we don't win MVP, I will absolutely take the Super Bowl championship. Here we go. Jake Rudock going to the Super Bowl. Woo! Can we get the W? We're going to sim the first quarter, and hopefully we have the lead. Falcons with the field goal. Oh, we're not getting any points right now. Gotta get points on the board. We're still not getting points on the board. We're down by 10. We do finally get a touchdown now. Please give me the lead. Yes, we got the lead at halftime. Quarter number three. Let's extend the lead here. Oh no, we've lost the lead. Oh no, we're down by two scores. Oh no. I've made the executive decision to hop into the game. It's fourth and one to start off the fourth quarter too. So hopefully we can get this. What? Please catch that. How do we? How does my tight end not catch that? Oh no, I might have just sold boys. I might have just sold Jake Rudolph with a big tackle, though. Bad time for a turnover, but luckily they didn't get any points. Maybe I shouldn't control this guy. I'm going to just let it play out. Please get a touchdown. Thank you. Defense, I got to get a stop here. Oh, okay. Only a field goal. I'm jumping back in. We're going to get this, okay? We're going to get the W. Give me that running back play. Yes, first down. Why are the Falcons backed up so much here? <laughs> what are they doing? I'm very confused, but yeah, hit that take the yards i know how franchise is too like we could absolutely get screwed at any point here oh no it's happened <laughs> i'm just selling every time i touch the ball right now thank you for getting the stop oh man yeah at this point i probably have cost the game but we got a chance here still just really good covered oh it's a fumble okay nice this is looking real bad no timeouts right now give me that corner route please go up and get that <sighs> really really bad right now squeeze that in there please thank you very much Okay, we got to go for it anyways. Fourth down for the game, potentially. Get the separation. Thank you very much. Oh, we got to hurry it up, though. Oh, no. We might not have time here, guys. We might not have the time. Please get out of bounds here. Oh, that's the game. Yeah, the CPU probably would have won the Super Bowl for us. That's my bad. Just because we got to the Super Bowl and just because I sold... 99 overall final season and we're gonna have to try to win mvp without jamar chase if we don't win mvp with all 99 attributes it's just never gonna happen so here we go guys final season 99 overall jake rudolph no more jamar chase but we still got some pretty good receivers and a superstar x-factor tight end hopefully defense keeps balling for us it looked like they did a pretty good job last season hey we're back in the playoffs but third in the division <laughs> 4900 yards 44 touchdowns 12 interceptions not that much different from what we were doing before, huh? We lost MVP to an 82 overall, 82 overall, and 83 overall. It's just never going to happen. Fourth best quarterback in the AFC, fourth place in the MVP. But hey, we're in the playoffs. Let's see if we can make another playoff run. We will not be making another playoff run. Actual final season. I picked up a 99 overall tight end in free agency. Again, the team is looking pretty good, so hopefully we can win. I'm gonna be honest, not confident at all that we won MVP. We went nine and eight. Like, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get how we don't win more games. We are clearly the best team in the league. But hey, hold on. 5,100 yards, 42 touchdowns. That's awesome. Don't like the 11 pick number. Also, why did my backup quarterback come in? Get him out of here. Yo, two of our receivers went off this season, though. The moment of truth. Did we win MVP finally? Of course not. We finished third, though. I keep saying it's final season, and then I see this, and I'm like, maybe one more. Second best quarterback in the AFC. It's this 98 overall on the Broncos, man. Ah. Speaking of the Broncos, though, that's who we're playing in the wildcard game. Let's beat him. All I can do is just laugh at this point, man. I don't get it. I don't know anymore. This absolutely has to be the best offense we've had so far. 99 overall receiver, a 93 receiver, and a 99 overall tight end. And of course, 
our 99 overall quarterback and we got some monsters on defense too i'm sure we're not gonna win the division still though <laughs> hey we finally won the division guys in year 16 i think this is we won our first division title <laughs> it's not looking good for mvp though it's just never gonna happen i guess unless we change something up but man like i, I don't get it we're all the way juiced up can't get any better our receivers definitely put up some numbers once again though so that's good really second place in the mvp again to a guy that finished eight and nine by the way nah this is actual bs right now also how do we finish second in the mvp but i'm the third best quarterback in the afc the game absolutely does not want us to win an mvp but hopefully we win a super bowl here let's see if we win our first playoff game we're on to the divisional round versus the 12 and 5 cincinnati Bengals, who apparently had the number one quarterback in the afc Oh, okay. We've made it to the AFC Conference Championship once again. We're facing the Tennessee Titans. Let's just run it. Let's just see if we can get to the Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Super Bowl. And we're going to win it this time. Jake Rudock looking for revenge after his first Super Bowl loss that definitely had nothing to do with me, guys. Versus whoever the Saints have. I have no idea who they have. I'm hoping the Super Bowl goes a lot better this time around. Let's sim first quarter here as we drive right down the field. Only three points, though. It's okay, though. Quarter number two is going to be a lot different maybe not oh we tied the game up that's good can the defense please stop somebody quarter number three got oh, down by two touchdowns at least we answer but the defense is not doing well right now hopefully the fourth quarter is a different story but uh down by multiple scores again gotta get a touchdown on this drive and we do please defense stop somebody <sighs> field goal gotta get some sort of points on this drive here gotta get something Big touchdown, but only 17 seconds left. In fact, that's going to be the game. We don't have any time left. The game just doesn't want me to be happy, man. Like, what is this? Pretty sick game from Jake Rudock. Too bad the defense sucks. Jake Rudock is already as high as he could possibly be. Our receivers are looking pretty good, so hopefully we don't finish second in an MVP voting again. Hey, we won the division again, finished 12-5, and five, and we actually have a bye this time in the playoffs. Is that a good sign? Is that a good sign that we won MVP? Please tell me we won MVP. Oh no. It's literally never gonna happen. What is this? We've gone down to ninth in the MVP. I, I just. I don't get it anymore. I don't know. Well, let's see how we do in the playoffs. We're facing the 8 and 9 New England Patriots. Okay. Hopefully we win this game, right? 24 to 3. Big W's. Denver Broncos in the AFC Championship. Let's win. Let's get to another Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> this game is trolling me, dude. This game is absolutely trolling me. We've come to a point where I might as well keep going until Jake Rudolph retires or wins an MVP. Got another 99 overall receiver in free agency, which is awesome. So we got three 99 overall weapons on this team for Jake Rudolph now. If this doesn't win him MVP, then there's just no shot it's ever going to happen. Better record this time, but we're playing in the wild card game. Uh, but the most important thing, MVP. Please tell me we won MVP this time. First. First and passing touchdowns. That's a good sign. 4,800 yards, 45 touchdowns, eight picks. That's a really, really good season. We might have done it this season. I'm really hoping we did it this season. Also, monster numbers from our receivers, which we have 399s. We should be getting monster numbers. Did we finally win MVP? Please, please tell me we did. Thank you. We finally did it, guys. We finally won MVP in year, what, 18? 19 something crazy like that not only did we juice up our quarterback all the way we had three monster receivers and yeah oh, i'm just happy we finally did it guys so we turned the worst overall quarterback into an nfl mvp so the goal of the video has been accomplished but can we top it off with a super bowl win let's see if we could do that in this wild card game first okay there we go we got the w in the wild card game we're facing the 12 and 5 browns though in the divisional round Come on, give me the W. And we lose again. Okay, so we're just not going to win a Super Bowl, but we finally won an MVP. I'm really happy with that. The Browns actually ended up winning the Super Bowl, so we lost to the eventual Super Bowl chance. But you see it on the right, NFL MVP Jake Rudolph. The mission has been accomplished. So we turned the worst quarterback in Madden 23 into an NFL MVP. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you guys did. Comment down below some more video ideas if you got any. YouTube recommends that you watch this video next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.